England and France, age-old enemies separated by just 20 miles of water. They sent us William the Conqueror, we sent them Henry V. They sent us the bubonic plague, and we sent them the booze cruise. But can we send them sound? Can we make a sound in England that can be heard in France? In order for me to make a big sound here in England that can be heard over there, in France, I'm going to need the help of a great big boffin. And that very man is at the end of this portable telephone. John Tickle. Hello, Rick. Or should I say, bonjour. Calm down, John. It's only France. Where are you? Oh, I've just got off the ferry. Right, now, you go and find some nearby cliffs. I make a loud noise and you tell me if you can hear it in France. Have you got that? Yeah, fine. Although I'm not going to just find any old cliffs, you know. No, I'm going to the Cap Green A, which is the closest point to England and only 22.1 miles from where you are. I'll give you a call when I get there. Good. I can't stand around talking to you all day. I've got a loud bang to prepare. Good ba Oh, he's gone. I'm preparing a very loud British bang with 20 gallons of petrol and several explosive charges. Meanwhile, John is arriving at Cap Grinez to position himself on the <sighs> French cliffs and stick his listening equipment exactly where it's required. Hello? I'm here. Good. The bang's ready. It's 140 decibels. Do you think you'll hear that in France? Well, Vic, that's 140 decibels, but from one metre away. By the time the explosions travel to France, only 50 decibels will reach my ear. Right, so do you think you'll hear it in France? Well, in theory, I should hear something. In a stroke of genius, though, I've brought along this sound meter. If the sound from your explosion actually reaches France, we should be able to detect it here. Here we go. OK, then. <laughs> Three, two, one. Did you hear that, John? It'll take a while for sound to get here. How long? One minute, 44 seconds. So that's about two minutes. The speed of sound is 761 miles per hour. So that's how long it takes to travel the 22.1 miles between us. OK, I suppose I'll just have to wait then. 30 seconds gone. As the sound waves speed across the channel, all we can do is wait. One minute post-explosion. Get ready for it. Ten seconds. No, that's 1.55. If we were going to hear it, we would have heard it by now. The bang was loud, but there's a chance the noise was carried up over John's head. To give his ears a clear line of sight, I'm going to create our next bang high in the sky with these 160 decibel salute shells, the loudest explosive we can aim at France without formally declaring war. Right, John, I've got six salute shells and they're pointing straight at you. Are you ready? OK, I'm ready. Three, two, one. What a cacophony! The thunderous roar of the mid-air explosion makes its way towards France and once again, we wait. Hello, John. Did you hear it? Didn't hear anything, Vic. Nothing on the meter either, I'm afraid. What went wrong? Well, I think it's a question of base. Now, the atmosphere will absorb a lot of the higher frequencies. So what you're saying is we need more bass? Yes, and lots more noise. John, I've got an idea. I think we need a specific low-frequency sound. Something like a tone generator might produce. Yeah, actually, yeah, I've got one. Brilliant. Here's 50 hertz coming at you. Starting the clock. 
It's not exactly a classic tune, but when you're pumping out enough volume to rupture internal organs, even inanimate objects start dancing. It's shaking the very British earth beneath our feet, but will it reach France? If it survives the journey, it should reach John's sand meter after exactly one minute and 44 seconds. Yay! Success! The meter registers a 10 decibel increase at exactly the right frequency. Formidable! We tried a ground-based explosion and a mid-air detonation, but the noise that made it across the channel was a baguette-splitting 150 decibel low-frequency tone. Well, John, I consider that a success. We made a noise in England that you detected in France. Excellent. Enjoy the long swim back.